My name is Eric Wolf. My parents have uh, normal sized necks. <laughs> What happened with me is one time I accidentally took a Viagra pill and it got stuck in my throat. I'm uh, six foot four, but it's a lot more fun telling people I'm six one. Because when I'm asked how tall I am by a guy who's like five ten, when I tell him I'm six one, he's absolutely devastated. <laughs> I'm short now, but I used to be tall. Yeah. Stop when we were in high school, I was five foot four, so no one does like to be short. That's why I decided to become tall. <laughs> <laughs> I am from Connecticut, obviously. <laughs> and I went to a very good college. I'm not gonna say which one, but it's top three. You know, Harvard, Yale, University of Wisconsin. <laughs> I wasn't in a fraternity at Wisconsin, I was in something much better. I was in the investment banking club. <laughs> investment banking club's a mouthful, so we just use the acronym IBC. And let me tell you, IBC and no women. I did end up dabbling in finance. You know. I had two full-time jobs on Wall Street. One was being an investment banking analyst, and the other was telling people I was an investment banking analyst. <laughs> I remember one time we had a sales meeting, and one of the guys started pounding his chest like he was Leo from Wolf of Wall Street. And soon enough, one by one, people joined in, pounding their chests, until the entire team realized the first guy was choking. <laughs> When I first moved to the city, um, I joined a bowling league. But they told me I needed to add five friends to form a team. Which is ridiculous, because why would I join a bowling league if I already had five friends? <laughs> now I have plenty of friends, you should see my Excel spreadsheet. <laughs> I live in a pre-war building, uh, Revolutionary War. Uh, <laughs> it's been rent stabilized for a while, so they pay 48 shillings a month. <laughs> I'm trying to get some artwork for my apartment, so I commissioned a painter. I got two paintings. One is a portrait of myself, and the other is a self-portrait of the painter. <laughs> so now when people come over to my apartment and say, Eric, that's an awesome portrait of you who painted it. They just go, this guy. <laughs> I highly recommend everyone get a portrait themselves. It's a, it's a great background for Zoom meetings. You know. <laughs> my only complaint about my apartment is my bathtub. Yeah, I take baths. I take my baths very seriously. No bubbles, no bullshit. My bathtub is made of porcelain, so my buddies call me the porcelain prince. Yeah. PP for short. Yeah. Which also stands for phenomenal posture. Because it's in the bathtub at a perfect 90 degree angle. Right? I look like I'm driving a go-kart. I'm trying to improve my jawline lately, so I've been going to sleep wearing a ball gag. Yeah. Nothing too fancy though, just your textbook red ball gag. Tackies in the streets, ball gag in the sheets. <laughs> the only nice thing about having to wear the mask in public during the pandemic is I only have to wear my ball gag in public. <laughs> Tackies in the streets, ball gag also in the streets. <laughs> I think people today have truly lost the art of good conversation. Like, I don't want to hear about your transformative experience studying abroad in Madrid. I want to hear what you think about my semester in Barcelona.
I love table for one dinners, and I also love hibachi. So one time I got table for one hibachi. Do you have any idea how exhausting table for one hibachi is? I caught 46 shrimp. I looked like a pelican. I'm trying to get into running lately, uh, but I'm insecure about my speed. So I started running with a piece of paper in my hand to make it seem like I'm just late to a meeting. All right, my name's Eric Walsh. Thank you.